On today's episode, we're joined with Sherlyn, Justin, Julia, and the Sea Explorers, where we go on an island hopping mission in between scuba dives. And by the way, if you want to join me and Justin for a scuba dive once a week, we have a scheduled trips. All the information is in the link in the description. Rise and shine, today is gonna be awesome! These are one of my favorite days in the Philippines. And you know what that's gonna mean. We're taking the big boat, sailing through two or three municipalities from Dawin through Sambuquita, all the way to the further southern tip of Negros in a place called Chaton. Antulang is the dive site we're going. So we're going to be sailing for about an hour to get there. It's going to be phenomenal diving. I'll be putting my wide angle because there's gorgeous corals and big stuff. So we want to capture that. We'll bring the small little camera of Sherlin if we see something small as well. But it's about 7 a.m. I woke up 6 preparing. Ah, oh, I love the mornings here in the Philippines. It's so easy to wake up. It's so easy. Anyways, breakfast and then we go to the boat. First one on the scene. Always wake up first. Even if we had some chocolate milk last night. Mmm. So good there. Watermelon refreshment. Ah, so good. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Boat just arrived. Let's be together with the fin just in it. When the stars glow bright, the summer's old. Last one on board. We'll be sailing with sea explorers today. And it's gonna be an epic one. Oh, I'm so pumped for this. Go, go. Yes, sir. It's gonna be our guide. Feel there's nothing more ahead. Let's rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Chaton. No boy, so we have to drop in, but we're gonna stop the boat soon. There's no buoy, and then we just jump in. Look at those cliffs! Wow. On our first dive, we dropped down just in front of Cuckoo's Nest, one of my favorite restaurants here in Negros. And this dive is gonna be very different for our regular crater hunting dives. We go from small things to big ones. So we got the wide angle lens on and we're gonna see some awesome corals. This shot with a nice looking nudibranch, he blends very well with the environment like usually and he's probably feeding off that tasty algae, coral, soft corals. And I was uh, quite surprised about Darwin after being here for a couple of weeks and that is I thought it was only gonna be small things to film and see but it actually has it all. Maybe it's just missing the big things like sharks but besides that it's becoming one of my favorite dive sets in the Philippines. And I didn't really know how to edit this video, so I'm just gonna remix it up a little bit. Some funky music, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the clips.
In this clip you got a lady nicknamed Blue and Chris and what they're doing is they're removing a rope or pulling it off the course. And if you guys are ever diving, please do something like this if you see it. First dive is done, that's Coco's Nest right behind us, right there. Very protected area compared to where we jumped in. It was really rough, great dive. But I think uh, it's a better macro side. So we were filming with a wide angle. Still some really beautiful coral formations and colors and all that. But next time I'll probably bring the macro lens. <laughs> Over there in Tambobo Bay, there's dozens, if not hundreds, of boats fishing, sailboats, charters, whatever. Awesome shelter for boats. Even some shipwrecks over here. You can see the sheets are trying to cover it. There's protection against the sun, but it's already shredded. So the guest, the owner, hasn't been there for a long time. Wow, that was that was beautiful. Oh, there's someone there. Hey! <laughs> So many boats! Wow! First dive! No buoy! Boat will get into the entry, signal of the captain, we will jump one by one. Now the formation, pretty similar from the first dive. I love that Tampopo Bay, seeing all the sailboats. Something to look forward, perhaps in the future, one day. But very nice to see. Great, great cove to dock the boats. Second dive now, right here. And he just said it's gonna be way better than the last one. So, looking forward to that. And for the second dive, we dropped down in a dive site in front of a place called Antulank. That is the further southern tip of Negros. And same with this dive, we got the wide angle on and we're gonna see a lot of beautiful corals. I won't be able to give you any scientific names of them because well, it's just so hard to identify. Hey doggies, can I come onto your island? Wow. There's no turtles and it's not an island. <laughs> it's a non-turtle peninsula. <laughs> really? Not an island. Maybe it's a dog island. Yeah, this is dog. Second dive was awesome, but now we're taking a quick stop over here, doing our surface interval. And uh, this is called Turtle Island. But apparently, just told me, it's not an island. There is a connection. What's red? But, wow. That is gorgeous. Let's take a walk. What, are you guys crying? You, are, are you, you're not well fed? Kinda skinny boy. No worries guys, we've got some food for you. Good boys. Good, good. Here That's we go. Good, eh? Damn, no you're a skinny you man. Woo. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that reminds me of Pirate of the Caribbean <laughs> when he's running up. <laughs> is this place wow I feel like I'm in a Palawan right now this is unbelievable Philippines delivers once again <laughs> what is this <laughs> The dog doesn't like dog food, so I think so, yeah. Yeah. Look at his face. He's so beautiful, eh? Even there's so many scarves, but so beautiful. Call him Scarface, this one. Yeah. Hi, baby boy. It's been a lot of fights. Come here, Jake. Hold up. No. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't run fast as you, Jay. Go there, go there, go there. Up we go, Jake. Up we go. And for the third dive, we drop down a little bit away from Turtle Island to the north. And same, same, beautiful corals, but we got some crater clips coming up from Sherlin's camera. Little by little, I'm learning how to operate my cute camera. So I was happy about the results of the clips I got on the dives. We saw nudibranchs, shrimps, eels, pipefish, and ribbon eels. This is the black one, which is a juvenile, but then we also found the more rare one, a blue ribbon eel. One of the new debranks was the first one for me, so we keep on repeating it. We see something new every single dive. But what caught my attention the most was this green thing growing among all the corals. This is algae. And my curiosity popped up when filming it. I was noticing in some areas, it almost looked like they're taking over the corals. So it made me think, are they invasive? For example, just look at this coral here. It is like 50% algae and 50% coral. I couldn't tell if this coral is dead or bleaching, but it's clear to me that the algae is taking over. So perhaps there's a marine biologist out there that can comment below and let me know about it, what's actually happening. Because as you see in these clips, the algae was pretty much taking over a big section of the area. That is it for today's video. One epic day in the books in the Philippines. We'll end it off on this gorgeous pillar of coral. Until next time, peace out. Yes.